Let's keep moving, continuing on today with uh, these examples in Chile to start off. These potentially natural, potentially artificial streaks and stuff. Uh, these uh, sets of arcs and then some uh, linear ravines or what have you. We will take a look at this stuff. So let's hop over to Google Earth. And it's this area down here in Chile along the coast. And first up, we have this guy, wide gas stripe streak. And uh, I could imagine any number of natural explanations for this, especially given some of the, the context, some of the, the other streaks, which obviously look more natural. This one just happens to be more um, prominent or uh, it sticks out a little bit. Could just be the image coloration. Uh, yeah, let's look at some uh, historical photos, see what uh, what we can see. And it kind of just looks like some sand flows or wash over, run over from one area of coast to the next, you know, when the water level gets higher or whatever. Let's see if we can't find anything in the historical photos. 2002, looking roughly the same. Okay, 2003. So really not much change. Yeah, so not much change. Anything interesting to point out? I'm tempted to say like parallel lines here, although that might just be the, the bedding or the, the natural rock, bedrock patterning. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately, I can't really present anything strong on this example. It's just, I'm just uh, presenting it as a possible hallmark of something weird going on although it's not, it's certainly not one of my stronger examples. Uh, this looking potentially artificial, but might have something to do with these people here. So probably skip that. This is another similar thing here. So just kind of looking like some run over, wash over. Uh, it doesn't change a whole lot, it looks like. A little bit. And of course we have these streaks along the coast, which I'll save for uh, later episode, but these prominent streaks or beach ridges may or may not have an artificial component to them. Okie dokie. And let's keep moving up the coast here. We're going to work our way north. So we've got this guy. Uh, stark streaks. So again, pretty similar thing, not much to point out. Looking a little strangely linear here and some possible straight features in the rock, maybe some parallel stuff here. It's all maybes for me in this area. Uh, just, um, again, not solid examples, but potential examples of something. Uh, any, how much change is there over the years? Looking at these stark streaks. 2003 looks roughly the same. So it could be some type of large scale earthwork maneuver or something. Um, especially like this kind of rhombus shaped or like parallelogram shaped. Uh, patch here, perhaps. Mm. Okay, whatever's. So not much change to these streaks over the years for whatever that's worth. All right, let's take a look at these linear ravines. So this one right here. Mmm, it's, it's fairly linear for a short bit, so unfortunately I'd say that's too short to come right out and say artificial, for sure. Um, so I might call this one like an edge case. Okay. 
looking a little uh, more linear there in this photo. How about this one up here? I had highlighted uh, this guy from roughly here to here. So let's look at that. So there appears to be some kind of linear component looking like it meanders a bit. It's just like the overall trajectory of it is linear and then it, it does some natural wobbling or meandering along that path. Um, some potential linear stuff here could be off-roading or whatever, anything, any number of things. But always keep your eye out for these linear ravines. This one's not perfectly straight. I would say it's fairly linear, at least from here to here. Um, so just keep your eye out for these when you're touring Google Earth. Because it might be something. Okay. Let's keep trudging along. What else we got? Maybe one right here, maybe not. Apparently something here worth looking at. So again, this fairly linear ditch there, at least for a stretch here. Could be natural or modern. Okay. And anything else? Just looking for any faint lines or anything. Okay, keep moving north. And got some place marks up here. So parallel streaks, geological layers, question mark. Um, so like these, these parallel streaks in this direction. Again, could be wind activity or water activity, geological, even former volcanic activity, possibly, or just the bedrock, natural bedrock. And then apparently there's some lines up here worth looking at. So let's check these out. So what am I talking about here? So like this right here, I think, is what I might be referring to, like this straightish stretch here, and then some faint, like, kind of subtle lines, which may or may not be artificial, like this, this even possibly, hmm. I don't feel super confident about this. Uh, let's look at this photo. Not this one. Okay. So like this maybe, what else? So what about these three? Eh, maybe. Something, just looking at the overall look of it. It might just be run, like run off down the mountain. There's water running down the mountain, you know? So, I almost feel like I'm grasping at straws here, but again, sometimes when your eyes are adjusted to an area, some some stuff will jump out at you. Like Now, now I can kind of see this one, and kind of see this one as well. Maybe this. Okay, like, uh, what else? And like this, potentially, right here. See this one? You kind of see the edge of it there, and then right here, and then 
over here as well and possible something similar here so possible faint indications of some type of working over of the land okay let's continue north Okay, okay, what do we got? So the, these are sh uh, similar, uh, like almost linear streaks, but they look more natural. They look fairly natural, so that's just for reference. I don't, uh, this could be a natural flow of some kind. All right. And some other place marks up the way. So this large scale stuff. Uh, again, like a big stripe. Could be something, could be nothing. Could be from some type of natural disaster, like a big uh, river of flood water or something just ran across the landscape. Any number of things. Straight line there could be anything natural, anything. All right, and then similar stuff here. So this may all be modern, or I mean, uh, natural streakiness. Mm. in some possible straight lines, but nothing too uh, strong. Uh, no particularly strong examples. Large scale streaks. So these guys all the way back here, like this. Apparently this would be former coastline. And I could go 50-50 on this. I could see it being that, or I could also see it being something like some weird artificial thing like sweeping a path to mimic natural patterns. Um, let's measure this real quick. Here's the coast. And then these streaks are about five or six miles back. That's a pretty significant sea level change there. And here we see these large scale streaks, just could be like a wind current or something along that path. So these streaks, I don't think we're gonna get any strong conclusions on. Maybe natural, maybe artificial. Okay. And then let's zero in on uh, this little area here. Um, actually, I don't really see this line right here that I'm talking about. I kind of see it, but I was looking for it, or, yeah, I can't even really find it. It's too faint, so I think I'll skip that one, but these ones you can kind of see, like these three, faint something or other, like par uh, parallel components, possibly, and possible there, there, could even be natural, uh, yeah, turn it on and off a couple times, this one through here, uh, let's kind of see it continuing there, maybe even there, see that, again, could be natural, um, let's just move on, up the coast, and last area in Chile is this general area of coast where we've got all these sets of streaks, like these kind of short truncated sets, like almost little islands of streaks like this, like little rainbows. Again, with the idea of like a, a sweep, windshield wiper sweep or uh, something similar. Like, just looking out of place and like 
the angles and like the placement like these are in this direction this is in this direction this is here um, I mean maybe they follow the terrain it just looks a little awkward at first glance at least um, so these streaks may be just like artists uh, brush strokes of some kind um, possible angle here straight line ish so this would be large scale stuff and again like this just little isolated set of streaks here it's like um, it's almost just like garnish or um, embellishment or f like finishing touches on the landscape like that is I, I want to guess like at least seven miles from the coast about eight or nine or ten miles from the coast and we just have this little set of streaks right here so it's like eh, it's a little weird these bumps could be anything modern or dots Okay, same with this set of streaks, just slightly out of place. Like this set right here, look at this one. Like what? <laughs> Don't these look like kind of like fake and out of place? Mm. In context of these, like they're, the orientation's different. And here we have some kind of flowy ones, kind of flowy. Kind of start and stop, pick up again here. These streaks. Okay, so those are interesting, I would say. Just a little out of place looking. You can almost see this streak like extending as part of this rougher terrain over here, like this. It's interesting detail. Okay, and then this linear feature, or uh, fairly linear, this ravine across. And the idea of like something which zipped across uh, the headlands of coasts, like shearing it flat or making some type of alteration. So going across this path here, pretty wide path. So uh, and then it, lo it looks eroded away in some places. And then I'm looking for like a clean edge of it maybe. Not really seeing one, but when you zoom out a little bit, you can see how straight it is. Doesn't mean it's not natural. Let's measure it uh, six miles, five miles, and about. Uh, pretty pretty wide I mean tenth of a mile or 550 feet so I don't think this is any kind of modern clearing because it's like 550 feet across so either it's natural or it's weirdness all right and then we got all these streaks here especially these ones Okay, I think that about does it for now for Chile. Okay. All right, let's go back to the images and see where, what's next? Washington, USA. Okay, so this little island, uh, what we have is these flat fingers. Well, let me take you over there. So Washington up here and it's right here. So these little, uh, like a, an island, and then these, um, I guess it's a spit, or like the, the edge, like a cuspate formation 
or some type of finger of land here. The flatness I'm talking about is like, see the edge of this, um, the land mass here? It's just kind of like a line more or less and looking like it kind of curves like that. Could be the natural water line or it could be modern uh, machining equipment or it could be this uh, some weird protocol deal. Uh, it's just the edges of the uh, the island are like flattened and it could could be naturally flattened like some kind of wave cut platform or something like uh, same thing on this edge we have the, the natural cliff line and then this flat finger and then this obviously looking like it's some kind of modern uh, installation here um, so the finger's still there in 1990 1991, 2005, arg, this image loading, pisses me off sometimes, <laughs> it's just this, a square right where I'm trying to look, I know I look whiny when I say that, but it's a little annoying sometimes, there we go, 2009, okay, see so yeah, just the flat kind of finger of land, so whatever that's worth, uh, that's a pretty common thing, uh, so when you're surfing around Google Earth, that's something you can look for, like flat edges of islands. And uh, keep in mind the uh, conventional definition of a spit, which is like a, a sandbar forming um, through natural processes. So these could be natural sandbars, which are um, edited in modern times for modern purposes to make it habitable or manageable or whatever. Um, now the top of the island, uh, I mean, it wouldn't surprise me if the top of the island is like sh sh uh, sliced flat. It's kind of similar, uh, just at a slightly higher elevation. But I don't have any super strong uh, evidence for that. Maybe some, I mean, these are probably all modern roads. Kind of stuff like this is a little strange. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. So just something to look out for. Here's another one, uh, just right, right near it. Uh, so this is the idea like a, a spit, which is like awkwardly flat. And then there's like a squared off end to it. It's always a squared off, like um, right angle end to the, uh, the flat finger area. So just something to look out for and it may be a combination of natural and modern stuff. So keep that in mind. Like this one, kind of similar deal here. Looking fairly natural. I don't know. Kind of similar deal here. Just the spits and spits forming off of spits. This, this thing is called a spit right here. So these little spits and barrier islands are often have, have kind of a suspiciously flattened look to them and that may be natural or whatever. So I think I made my point there. Uh, some interesting patterns to them. Okay, uh, that's Washington and uh, let's go down to, I think Oregon is the next example. Yeah, so Oregon, we have this, not flat, I would say, but it is it is kind of hilly, but kind of mature or wavy, squiggly lines. Um, so we will take a look here in Oregon, in Google Earth. San Clemente, I'm not going to take you here because I've already showed this example a couple times. Um, but just the similar kind of working over look of the land, like ch -ch 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 something um, having done a number on the landscape, uh, some kind of strange terraforming. Peru, I won't take you here, but again, similar similar deal. And then Scotland, obviously similar deal, something which uh, sheared across the landscape, not leaving it entirely flat, but possibly 
um, terraforming as it went and removing massive amounts of material and reconfiguring stuff and leaving strange patterns behind, perhaps deliberately. So we've got all these strange patterns looking fairly deliberate, like, uh, like this. Um, this was just reminding me of something we saw yesterday in the previous video, but uh, I'll skip it for now. Um, so yeah, these lumpy mounds and hallmarks of some type of working over of the land. Sheared flat, flat, flat. Possibly this is Scotland, and you've seen this one a couple times now. So let's go up to Oregon and see if we can see some similar stuff there. So Oregon... I'm gonna have to turn on the borders because I don't, okay, so Oregon's like right here. And uh, so it's this area up here. And what do we got? So give me a second while I find the uh, exact location. So we've got the waviness. See that could be natural. Wavy, wavy. Uh, okay, here's where that still image was. Uh, these patterns, potentially natural, potentially artificial. We've got like many linear tick marks and stuff. Thingy, what's thingy? Okay, so just this might even be a dam. So this might just be a a dam to stem the flow of this river. Looks like it. So I sh probably shouldn't just present that. Um, wavy squiggles, 1994. Okay, so yeah, wavy squiggles, squiggles. Natural, maybe. It's not an identical look to that Machere look, certainly. It just bears some similarities, so I thought I would point it out. So 1994. Yeah, pretty pronounced. Get a good look at it. Plenty of it. Right, and other place marks, parallel streaks. So these parallel streaks here, possible working over of the land on a massive scale. Parallel streaks the other direction, kind of unperturbed by the changes in elevation here, just straight parallel lines across. A little odd, see that? Just kind of strange parallel lines. All right, parallel lines, faint parallel lines. So this is just something you see, parallel lines across the landscape. Could be something, could be nothing. Faint wide parallel streaks, 1994 photo. So here we are. Parallel streaks again, just a whole bunch of them. Whole landscape. So something working over the landscape, possibly. These lines, parallel tick marks, maybe like these. Yeah, see these? It's pretty artificial looking, in my opinion. Again, parallel lines this way. So this is like when I when I call out these faint straight lines in some of these places, like like this on its own might not jump out at you, but uh, it doesn't mean it's nothing or negligible. 
especially when considered with all these other parallel lines. So it's like, okay, there's something here, whether it's modern or not. Spottiness, whatevs. Okay, turn these back on. Gash. So again, these may be dams in some cases. Uh, like this. Mm. This one doesn't particularly look like a dam, and there's. I don't know. Lines like this. This, even some stuff like that. Paint parallel lines. So, this is an area which, like a mesa, which might be sheared flat over. You know what I mean? Like a mesa, which was had the top sliced off more or less. And possible, like up the side of it here. But uh, yeah, something shearing across potentially. And this is an interesting area. This reminds me of um, like this wavy spotty look. This reminds me of Scotland, which we were looking at in the last video. Uh, so let's, um, let's keep this in mind, this wavy spotty look. And let's go to the oldest photo, 1994, wavy spottiness, and compare that to like these more uh, blatant parallel lines here. So there may be a conti continuous flow from one to the other, or it may be two different phenomena, but um, hard to say. But keep these wavies in line, and then let's go to Scotland real quick, and. Uh, Kin Craig Point, uh, that general area had something similar, I believe. So up here, the 1945 photo had some like wavy dotty lines going on, if I remember correctly. Like this, maybe. I see this. Um, Slightly different, but maybe something similar. Like right here, kind of like wavy dots, potentially. Okay, any others? I don't want to spend too much time on this. Wavy dots, maybe, no. Nowhere. Kind of some dottiness. All right. Okay, here we go. See these wavy lines? See this? I would say that's kind of similar to what we're looking at in Oregon. Just wavy lines underlying the landscape. So let's take one more look at that. Where'd it go? Right here. Could be a farming technique, I guess. What about the other plots? All right, well, possible connection there. And let's zip back over to the United States, Oregon, and finish up this area. So let me um, start down south over here and work back up. So we've got these horseshoe lakes, which are seen in many places or like it's kind of like a horseshoe pattern. Not quite sure what that is. Maybe some type of test drilling site or something. Any number of things. A lot of like patches of rectangles like this. OK. 
okay. I'd like to be something conventional and modern. Okay, let's go back up north. Wavy squiggles. So sim somewhat similar to Scotland and elsewhere. Wavy squiggles. These mesas, which may have a flattened component to them, might not actually be a mesa, it's hard to tell. Not really seeing any lines on this one. Wavy, got it. Wavy, wavy. Again, I could see that being Natural as well, it's possible. Got those. And you kind of get a, a feel for the extent of it. Just making sure I didn't miss any place marks. More waviness here. The the parallel streaks, the mechanically parallel ones, again could be modern or otherwise. Faint and wide streaks, see nineteen ninety four photo. So yeah, I see these. Large scale parallel lines. Across the landscape here. I think that's most of what I wanted to show here in this area. The parallel lines, the wavy lines. Again, this one may be a dam, but then there's like little ones like this and this and this. I just don't know if all of these are just a lot of little gashes. All right, so I think, I think that's it for Oregon and that might be it for this video. Let me check real quick. That's all I want to show. Yeah, Iraq, Iraq, similar wavy stuff. Not going to tour this. South Africa, possible uh, wavy lines and flattened areas, potentially, but I already showed you that area, so I'll skip it. And um, that'll do it for this video. All right, uh, more coming up in the next one, so I'll see you then. Later.